Hello once again, welcome to Cue Balls Reef. So, figured today, since everybody's stuck inside, uh, I'm going to do a quick video on how I use my Hanna Calcium Checker. I know I see a lot of posts online about everybody saying that this thing is hard to use and takes too many steps. I don't believe that. I find that it's very accurate and very easy to use if you follow the instruction guide that came in the package. It's pretty simple to use. So what you're going to need is the Hanna reagent, which there's a liquid and there's a powder. They send you the little bottles that you test your water in. They'll send you a pipette. They will send you a 1 ml syringe and a 100, I believe it's microliter pipette. So those are all the materials. You're also going to need some fresh water. Now I have used RODI water since the beginning. Some people also say you should use distilled water, but since I started with RODI water, I'm going to continue to use RODI water. That way I'm getting accurate measurements and the same readings all the time. So just to make sure I do have my handy dandy little TDS meter here because you definitely want this to be zero TDS. So I'm going to dip this in here. And as you can see, zero TDS in my RODI water. So that's a good start. All right, so the first step the instructions tell you to do is add one ml of your liquid reagent to the vial. So I'm going to take my one ml syringe, fill it up to one ml. And in it goes. Next, they tell you to take and fill to the white line with your water, your clean water, the RODI water. So I'm going to take my little pipette here and fill this guy all the way to the white line. So there is going to be the little curve of the bubble, I believe it's called a abacus, something like that, at the bottom here where the water will create a little curve. Now they tell you to make the bottom of the curve equal with the white line. So it looks like I need to add a few more drops here. And there you go. Now I'm going to put the cap on this. I'm going to give this a quick clean because you definitely want this to be clean. Your, your collection cup, collection tube, whatever you want to call it, needs to be clean so that the reader can actually read through. I'm going to give this a few inversions just to shake it up, mix all the reagent turn on my handy dandy checker now this is going to read c1 so what i like to do and it's been recommended the front of this has a label on it that says hanna and 10 mls i like to line that up right in the front so that i'm getting an accurate reading every time close the lid push the button whoa So it's going to be flashing here for a few minutes, and when it says C2, I'm going to go to step two. Okay, C2. So now we're going to remove this. I can touch the lid, and I can touch the very bottom because the reading is in the middle here, so I'm not worried about that. Take my lid off, place it back down. Now, according to the instructions, you are to add your water from your tank. So it's very difficult to see 
but there are little lines on here that will tell you when you have exactly one microliter of tank water. Now this plunger at the top, there's two positions. If you push down very slowly, you will come to a point where it will give a little bit. That is to fill it up. If you press down all the way, that is going to release everything that is in the chamber. So I know a lot of people were making the mistake when they try to collect their water, they push this all the way down and then collect, which will go way up here towards the top. Too much water. There's a little tiny line right here. Don't know if that'll focus and pick it up or not, but that's the line where I have always used and that's the line I shoot for with my tank water. Okay, so, full of tank water, or at least to the little Okay, so we have our tank water. I'm going to add that. Remember to press down all the way. Now, you're going to need your dry reagent. So this is the tricky part because these things are kind of weird how they've designed these. But what I like to do, I give the corners a little flick and it even tells you to cut along the dotted line which I do after I make sure that there's no powder near the corners. And then I'm going to cut along this dotted line. So that my packet is open. Now what I like to do is take each of the uncut corners here and kind of fold it open like a mouth like Pac-Man. That way I can bend this and create a nice little channel for my reagent to flow down into my burette. There we go. It's all in there. I'm going to put the cap back on. And the instructions say to shake this for 15 seconds. So we're going to give it a shake for 15 seconds. Lucky me, I can watch the little counter on my clock here with the timer for the video. Alright, that's 15 seconds. Now, nice shade of purple. That's a good sign. So now I'm going to place this back into the tester, remembering to put my 10 ml straight forward, and click the button. What do we get? 4.54, right on my target. Oh, sorry, I guess that's 424. I was looking at it backwards. But still, right around where I would like it to be, which is 420. So. Okay, right on target at 424. I like it. I try to keep my calcium around 4 to 420. And it seems to be the best target. I've kept it here for probably about the last six months and not a single coral seems to mind. So that's where I'm shooting for. So 424, I'll take that any day of the week. So that's my little demonstration on the HANA Calcium Checker, how I do it. Um, I pretty much just read the instructions and went step by step and I've been doing it that way ever since. So. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I try to get videos out at least once a week. 
This is Cue Ball for Cue Ball's Reef. Catch you on the next one.